coming up in this video on a very very blustery morning Martin nearly takes me out Are you filming? Yeah okay. Well Well spotted Wondered how long it take you to spot eh? <laughs> You win this week's prize You had the choice of a ride in a Jodel 1050 or a Vans RV4. <laughs> this time. Right, okay. So what we'll do is we pull him that way. I have already warned Karen that as she's the only member of the household, she's got to sit in on the flight test with me. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. mind your aeroplane? Mm -hmm. Mind your head? Yeah. I've got to get it on top of that ridge so that it can't slide down. Yeah. I have filmed a lot of the permit work before but here's just a few bits and pieces that I don't know that I did. We tend to go around and tighten everything up in the engine bay and then it's an important thing to check on the seat bracket and then by removing the tunnel at the back you can access the cables that run through the air brake mechanism and this which is the flexible uh, fuel join that needs to be checked. Well, there's absolutely no signs of movement whatsoever. Good. I mean, if you want to have a look yourself, but it's... yeah, they're all they've got their own little way, haven't they? While John was underneath, we uh, decided to have a go at adjusting the air brake by one turn just to make sure that it sat better underneath the wing. You'll see here the difference between fully extended and closed right up. Move it everywhere in the back. It's then the jigsaw puzzle of getting the carpets back in place. I don't know that I actually show it particularly well.
before we finish this video with a little bit of flying please remember to subscribe hit the notification bell tick like share with anybody who you think might be interested and of course please leave me a comment As he came back into land I thought it would be rather good to kneel down in the grass, get the grass blowing in the rather blustery conditions and film Martin coming into land. What I didn't realise is that it was actually going to turn out to be a fairly close call. And again, and I'll turn this one slow motion after a little while. Because I was kneeling down, I couldn't just step back out of the way. So, judging in the viewfinder that things were getting a little bit close, at the very last moment, I did a little bit of a parachute roll and cleared out of the way. Bit warm in here. Right, got your loud and clear that time. You, you okay? Yep, Today's flight is to warm up the engine because I want to drop the oil. We've done most of the bits and pieces for the permit. So I just want to make sure I've got the oil change done. It's not absolutely necessary to do it for the permit, but I had always said that that was something that we were going to do. Also looking to wonder whether or later on, when the sun goes down, whether we'll get a nice shot of the airfield. Because sometimes when you get the shadows, evening shadows, it does highlight the hill a bit better. But yeah, we shall see. interesting thing because I'm using the remote I'm either showing that camera or I'm showing that camera um, I can now do a press and they stop filming and then I simply press it again and they start filming to just check to see the back one yeah that it is working so it's good you're flying along quite happily you've had enough 
you don't think you're going to do any more filming, so you press stop. It all stops. And then you think, oh, there's something here I need to film. Turn it back on. And there it is. On the right, Tim. I thought I'd put the cameras back on because it's been a little bit of a, a rodeo ride for the last few minutes. I think that's probably coming over the top of Colchester. But uh, as I said at the start of this flight, it was only really just a little... <laughs> it was just a little local really, in order to warm the oil. Um, so we're heading back, well we as in you and I, um, but John's about somewhere, but not quite sure where at the moment. I'll put the fuel pump on and go back onto the front tank. Nailand traffic, come to there, Bravo, John, the left hand. over there um, and strangely enough this piece along the top of the ridge is usually quite bumpy bearing in mind just how bumpy it was overhead culture so this is remarkably smooth John called left base, so he's around there somewhere. Oh, I've got him just about to turn final. Hatches are closed. Harness is tight. I won't need carb heat for a moment. Air brake is down, we'll need to see how that one works in a little while since we did the work on it. Still fairly warm outside. It's coming up to half past, half past six of an evening and I've got an outside air temperature of 24. It's a bit nasty coming in, Tim. Okay. Well, it was nice across the top of the ridge, so by the sound of it, John says it's a little bit squirrely down in the valley itself. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been a little bit of all sorts of different bits and pieces. It was nice to receive the comments about the anti-locking because we're quite happy that people do. It's not very easy when you're filming something um, and have a camera stuck up in your face but the comments were all sympathetic and it did show that people were watching carefully um, and also sort of worried about us. But good point, well made by a number of you, thank you very much. I didn't cover much of the permit because as I've already said, I've done that before in previous videos, but I just covered some of the stuff that I don't think I've covered before. But anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, tick like, share it with anybody you think might be interested, leave me a comment, I really do like to get them, and of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hopefully, 
you'll be with me again next week. Thank you very much for your support. Mayland, go for Alpha Yankee, Echo Hotel, final, Mayland traffic. Uh, air brake did lock in there quite nicely. I'll keep a little bit of speed on. In fact, we're coming down very quickly. I'm going to put that down a little bit.